You promised you would leave me, and you did, but you never said how far you would go, did you? You stayed close enough to watch through your scope. As the man took aim at my head, I heard the shot and I assumed I was dead. But it was him who was dead, not me. You were so far that none of us knew where to look. I grabbed the accelerator and got as far from the shouts of the aggressors as I could. They've been on my tail. By now, you're long gone, and I've led those people back in land. Welcome back, Guardians. With the release of the new Bagusia Forge, we can complete the Mystery Box quest, and completing this quest finally reveals Ada One's true power, her true abilities, that we've only seen hinted at in the lore book, The Black Armory Papers. I won't be explaining how to complete the quest, so no spoilers there, but obviously we'll be speaking about the lore, and I will be showing an additional cutscene that you get from Ada when you complete the quest. If you want to experience this in-game yourself, I suggest leaving now. I also recommend that you watch my first video about Ada 1, because I won't be covering all of her backstory, and it is important to understand her history and creation. Also, a big thank you to Jugzilla, Marshfellow, and Balahorn for the footage. They completed this quest very quickly and shared the information with myself. I will leave a link to their Twitter and or Twitch in the description below. Please check them out. Lastly, as usual, the artwork was completed by Gamma Trap. Check out the Patreon for artwork rewards. And this is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Before the release of the Bagusia Forge, one of the greatest mysteries surrounding Ada was her ability to modify weapons, and to be a walking, talking forge. Ada is essentially exo-technology combined with black armory technology. However, the lore book was quite vague about her abilities. Have a listen to entry 104, which reads, We had some downtime, so Yuki wanted to test the exo's new functionality. This was the entire purpose of the EXO in the first place, Project Niobe, Helga's great experiment to make our weapons more deadly through a sort of on-the-spot phase transition of the guns. In other words, a walking, talking forge. And entry 108 reads, One of the men who had attacked us returned, this time with an offer. He wanted the EXO. He had seen what she was capable of back at the truck. How she turned our weapons into something even more deadly with nothing but her hands. So we knew that Ada had some sort of abilities to modify weapons or maybe even create weapons, but we're not really sure how this works. Regardless, Warlord Guardians, i.e. Guardians who abused their power, witnessed Ada's abilities when attacking the Black Armory group who had fled the Black Armory labs following the collapse. The Warlord Guardians wanted Ada for her powerful abilities. At the same time, the story introduced a component called the Obsidian Accelerator. Similar to Ada's abilities, we didn't really know what it does. We only knew that it must be powerful because Henriette, Ada's mother, wanted to hide it from the Warlord Guardians. The last we see of the Accelerator is Henriette escaping two Warlords as Ada defends her with a sniper rifle. Have a listen. You promised you would leave me, and you did, but you never said how far you would go, did you? You stayed close enough to watch through your scope. As a man took aim at my head, I heard the shot and assumed I was dead, but it was him who was dead, not me. You were so far that none of us knew where to look. The second man winged me with one of our own weapons. He began to gloat about that, but another round from you shut him up. Two more thunderous shots and their drones were dead as they were. I saw the glare from your scope disappear and I knew you were heading away. I know you must feel guilty, but don't. It was I who wronged you. I grabbed the accelerator and got as far from the shouts of the aggressors as I could. They've been on my tail. By now, you're long gone and I've led those people back in land. So that was the last we saw of the Obsidian Accelerator, but with the release of the new forge, we can finally open the mysterious box, which requires a key from each forge. I'm not going to go into each quest step, because that's the fun part for most players, but I will talk about the lore implications. 
Completing the quest will reward you with the exotic sniper rifle, Izanagi's Burden. The sniper is required to continue the quest. Upon completing the quest, you're in fact rewarded with the Obsidian Accelerator. When returning to Ada 1, a new cutscene is played. Is that... Yes, Ada attaches the Obsidian Accelerator to her, and once you do this, more Obsidian Accelerators actually drop from the Forges. Collecting these materials can then be traded for Accelerator Radiance, which can then be used to enhance your Black Armory weapons, increasing their damage during Forge Ignitions. This is Ada's abilities unlocked. The merging of Exo technology and Black Armory technology. The ability for Ada to enhance weapons with just her hands. On a side note, the Obsidian Accelerators have a French phrase in the description. I believe this translates to, never forget who you are. Which would make sense, possibly a message from Ada's mother, Henriette. Now the interesting thing about this mission is that when you finish the mission, once you have seen the new cutscene and have access to the Obsidian Accelerator, it says new mission available, but nothing appears in the director. We have seen this previously with other missions that have been time gated, so there could even be more to this story. To me, the missing part of this story is now what happened to Ada's mother, Henriette, between escaping the Warlord Guardians and the Obsidian Accelerator being planted in the Mysterious Box. I assume Henriette locked the Obsidian Accelerator in the Mysterious Box, hoping that Ada would eventually discover the box and the Obsidian Accelerator and consequently unlock her true powers as a walking talking forge, with the ability to modify Black Armory weapons. So that's it, that's how you power up and unlock Ada 1's true abilities with the Obsidian Accelerator. And that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word Obsidian to represent the Obsidian Accelerator. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.